everyone and welcome back to subsistence it is extremely early in the morning we um, are just waiting on some water to cook we need to water the plants that we put in our plant bed it has been one in game day since we um, made the plant bed I planted some tomatoes and one carrot seed um, I did fertilize them. That's what the ash has been for. I've been using the ash as fertilizer. And I'm going to just add some water to these and hopefully they'll um, continue to grow today. We might need to make another canteen. Um, you can always water them with I always think that that rock with the sun shining in on it, right there, is a campfire. Anyway, so you can water the plants with just uh, dirty water, but it doesn't um, give as much hydration to them. I prefer doing it with the clean water. So today, we have the power and mass. Through the night, we made a small power generator, which costed um, six scrap, five electrical components, and four wooden planks. Today, we are going to make the mass fabricator. We have everything on us already to make that. We're just gonna make that because I really want to make the workbench and in order to make the workbench we need uh, 750 power and 120 mass and we have the storage capacity for it we just don't have the ability to make that yet so now that we have these made let's go ahead and place them I'm just gonna put them down right here for now Um, it's probably not the smartest move placing them this close to the exterior wall however I'm really hopeful that they won't attack from this direction but you never really know so um, now that we have that completed I would like to um, work on getting some wood which I can do that off camera the wood's not a big issue um, finding the scrap metal and the electrical components is only found it's only found in um, loot or you know just the scrap is found laying on the ground I'm gonna repair this bow um, that is the bigger issue for me is finding that kind of stuff because loot has been an issue recently um, I did gather some wood yesterday. We didn't find a lot of nails. That's going to be an, a problem moving forward. But today I would like to maybe craft a couple more. Um, I'm not going to make foundations now. I want to make wooden ceiling pieces because I would like to um, sort of replace some of these foundations with those so I can have room underneath here to use for storage like I mentioned in the last episode so I guess today I'm really just going to try to go for a little bit of a loot run and let me put these planks in here I would hate to die what am I stuck on the door I would hate to die and lose that you can lose up to half the stuff in your inventory I think it's up to half. It may be even more than that. I'm not totally sure on that. But I want to try to get out and do a little bit of looting today. We may um, we may head over into the valley. Um, I also need food. And that rabbit is going to be, if I can kill him, good cloth. as well. We do need cloth or bandages. We've been really lucky finding bandages in crates. 
If I find any um, ores today. Hmm. Okay. If I find any ores and there's no wolves around, I'm going to try to collect those. We might hit up the, the big rock with all the ores on it. We might do that as well. And the rain is going to make for a very difficult um, loot run today. So we'll see how much looting we can get done. It's because they're so noisy, the rain, the, the um, thunderstorms are so noisy that you can't really pick up on the animal sounds or if there's hunters in the area or rogues in the area, you can't really hear them at all. I've seen other content creators that choose to hang around their bases when it's doing this. So maybe they're smarter than I am. Or maybe I'm more riskier than they are. But I really need loot. I mean, there's really nothing in this game you can do without having a, the proper amount of um, loot. Food is also an issue for me. I don't have any meat cooked on me. I don't have any berries. I do have water, but water is not a problem at all. Probably should have a weapon out in case I run into rogues or if I happen upon a hunter base. over in that direction. I'm not really finding an obscene amount of loot, although it's not been horrible. The nails are welcome, for sure. Is that the fence? Where exactly am I? Well, I'm up where that um, road camp was earlier. Probably want to turn around and move it on out of here. Don't like being up there. behind me, which I'm glad he wasn't still chasing me because I had kind of left myself nowhere to go. So let's see about this rock, if there's any ores on it. Looks like some iron here. Um, some zinc over here as well. couple of days ago and there really wasn't anything on this rock which is extremely odd it's usually at least four fours or more there was a piece of zinc over here that despawned I really want to start um, refining these iron pieces because I would love to make another lockpick. And it's 18 refined iron to make one lockpick. You would think for 18 pieces of iron you would get at least more than one lockpick. That seems a bit excessive, but... it is. It keeps you going, right? This 
storm is extremely loud. I hope I'm not yelling into the microphone. Um, I hope I'm not talking too loud. side of the valley. I didn't really plan on um, coming out this far. I did initially, and then after the rain started, I kind of decided not to, but when you're following the loot, you kind of go where it goes, right? Can't expect to get the loot to come to you. There's a plant fiber up here. in the valley. Um, there have been known to be a lot of rogue bases down this way, or a lot of rogue campfires down this way. They seem to like it down here as well. Have we been down this way? We have. Um, so we're not really in the valley anymore. We were kind of down in here back in here. We were in the back side of it. I see a piece of scrap up here. Hopefully I can get it without alerting that wolf. I think there's another piece down there. I would really like to get it as well, but I'm not really sure I'm going to be able to do that. Finally, um, we're bleeding, so let's use a bandage. I did all of that for this piece of iron that's probably going to despawn before I can get to it. Well, it didn't. I'm definitely surprised. But we're still heading toward our base. We needed the meat anyway. I know the ammo that was wasted is really kind of sad. We have been finding quite a bit of 9mm in loot, but I still don't want to waste it if I can keep from it. Let's see what's made for chicken. Hopefully we'll have enough meat to do us a day or so. And I want to get back and get that power and 
mass generating and all that going on. I just wanted to kind of let uh, the base do its thing for a few minutes. At least while we're out looting today. It wasn't, to me it's wasteful to generate the power if the base is going to do it anyway. You're kind of wasting that or I feel like you are. Plant fiber. There's a deer that I know I can't kill. So what's the point? At least for now. I'm going to be able to kill them later. I just don't want to um, spend all day chasing it. And even without an upgraded rifle, you can kill them with one headshot. It's a little bit quieter in here. It's really noisy out there. So we need to... I'm going to make a fuel brick. Because I don't really want to waste all of the wood today. We have quite a bit of um, animals that we can cook. I want to just go ahead and butcher everything. And that way I can put all of the resources away. Um, we, have, we found a 44 round today. That was good. We, found, we ended up finding eight scrap. Not a bad find at all. We found 44 nails as well. That was also good. Um, let's put the cloth in here. We forgot the feathers. We have one berry that I'm going to go ahead and eat. The meat isn't done yet. We have quite a bit of iron in here. I would love to turn that on, but I really want to get this workbench crafted today. So, take my piece of chicken before it burns, and I'll put that rabbit in there. I guess I need to put some biofuel in there. about 13 to 14 to fill that up and it doesn't really last as long as you would expect it to this fuel brick will fill this um, bar completely up which is why I'm just kind of letting it burn down a little bit more because I don't want to waste it Rabbit's nearly finished. Okay, the chicken hopefully won't burn. Eat the rabbit as well. Maybe one of these steaks. And the chicken's still not done. Our tomatoes are growing quite nicely. to also craft another. I want to see what it takes to craft another canteen. Because it just seems like the one isn't going to be nearly enough. Okay. How are we doing? 350 power. 175. Or, I'm sorry. 75 mass. 175 would be nice. So the workbench needs 120 mass and 750 power. Let's go ahead and turn the generator on. I'm going to let that be generating power. I think it would still let the it would still let the base generate power as well. I'm going to go ahead and add this fuel brick just because I don't want the fire to go out. And I'm doing okay for water, so I'm going to go ahead and add these to the plants. And get another one going. And let's get back up here and let this one cook. 
And let's get out and loot a bit more today. Maybe we'll just make a quick trip down the beach. Maybe over in that direction a little bit. Let me close the door back. If we happen to generate a thousand power while we're out today, the generator will just turn itself off. It's not a big deal. It won't use any biofuel that isn't absolutely necessary. doing pretty good on food at the moment. Um, another piece of scrap. Let's just, um, is that a chicken? Probably don't need any more meat right now. I would hate for it to just go bad or spoil. Really wouldn't want that. Hello, chicken. Um, plant fiber. Not really seeing any crates over in this area. Then I'll tell you something else I'm not really seeing is cotton. Cotton is going to be a big issue if we can't find some cotton seeds in some of our crates or if we can't find any cotton plants kind of just out in the wild hanging out that we can grab for later. We're going to need um, we're going to need cloth to make some warmer clothing for winter. We're going to also I think need cotton for our um, winter coat and I know it seems like it's still a ways off, but it really isn't. It's probably closer. We're in May. And um, it starts getting cold in October, November. And trust me, the time goes by quicker than you think when you have a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, I knew I missed that shot as soon as I um, attempted to kill the rabbit. I don't know where that arrow went. I don't see it at all. I'm never really good at finding the arrows back. Ooh, there it is. Maybe it's all about the angle in which you try to look for it. I don't know. They're pretty difficult to see. There's a crate up here. Um, biofuel. Definitely take that. The biofuel is welcome. Um, definitely now that we have that generator going. game that I've been wanting to try. Um, it's called Stranded Deep. And I've watched other people play it. I don't really see people playing it a lot on YouTube, but um, I've been watching other people play it. It's old footage or old recordings of them. It's not anything new or recent. Um, it looks like an interesting game. I haven't... Um, I haven't purchased it yet, but if you would like to see me attempt to play that game, um, let me know in the comments. I'm always up for trying new games. It doesn't have to be um, subsistence or seven days to die for me to play it. I like trying and trying out new games and seeing what works, what doesn't for me. I, I don't really love um, things like Call of Duty. I can play that. Um, I have. I've played it in the past.
but um, that just seems like too fast paced for me. You can see that um, hunter camp really well from here. You can see the campfire. Looks like there's someone standing around the fire. It's really neat to see that. There's a wolf after a deer, I assume. Yeah. Let's go up here and see if we've missed anything or if we checked up in this area at all. I guess the wolf gave up a pursuit of the deer. home sweet home. And there's a building crate down here. See any crates back here? There's one, and there's a wolf. Let's see which direction he comes to. at some point. Nah, we'll eat it. It'll go bad if we don't. Anyway, let's get back over to our base and see how our power situation is. Hmm, an ammo crate. I'm gonna have to make some 9mm ammo, I'm sure. Thought I saw a medicinal plant down this way, but I guess it was probably that burn. Let me go ahead and wash my hands while I'm down this close to the water. Mm. Nah, I'm not going to mess with that wolf. Get this copper. situation is with power now. We're almost at a thousand power. It doesn't take forever to generate that, but let's go ahead and turn on the, the mass fabricator and this takes 2.5 power per second to generate this um, mass. So as you can see, the power is going down extremely quick. Um, but we only need to generate 20 I think maybe 25, 20, 120 is what we need. So we can do that. It's not a big, huge deal, I don't think. So let's um, load our nine millimeter in case something goes down through the night. Let's see how much ammo we have for it as well. 
we're down to four rounds on us. I like to keep at least two reloads, so 14. Plus the seven in our gun is 21 on us, so that's not horrible. We got 30 more nails on that quick little adventure. got eight of those. Gunpowder is not a, as big a problem as the casings are. These are the hardest, hardest part to get for me. Let's see if we have that liver is nearly finished. It is medium currently. Still medium. Let's give that just another minute. Um, the shotgun shell, we don't need it. Let's go ahead and have these couple pieces of chicken. And get our liver, it's finished now, it's just cooked. The water, we probably need it, but I'm gonna hang on to it for a few more minutes. Let's turn this light on, it's way too dark in here. situation now. We're at 126, so let's turn this off. Turn off. The power, we can probably turn it off as well. I'm sure we probably have enough. Yeah, 750 and 120. So let's go ahead and make this. Let me get everything gathered up that we need. I don't think I have that on me. I don't remember crafting the planks. I was gonna, yeah, I thought I had to craft those, but we have enough to make our workbench. I'm excited about that. Let me put everything back up that we didn't need. And that. Um, the copper I can put over here in the refinery. It's getting cold over here. It's one degree. Let me put this stuff away over here. And let's get our workbench out of the BCU. Where should we place this? Should we move this crate down some underneath the BCU and then place it right here on this wall? Let's see how well that'll work out for us. Let's move this, um, maybe not right there, maybe right there, and that is number five, so let's place that right up against this wall here. And this is where you can craft those metal ingots and the circuit boards. There's a lot of stuff in here you can craft. There's premium arrows, there's gren grenade tipped arrows, there's grenades. There's a recurved bow. I would love to get this at some point. A double barreled shotgun. There's just a ton of stuff here. Breaching charges, that's definitely end game. That takes, um, no, not the breaching charge, the, um, the BCU cracker is definitely end game. But there is a lot of stuff you can craft here. The metal ingots being the most important, and the grenades. The grenades are used to like um, blow open doors and stuff of the hunter bases. Speaking of hunter bases, Is this our friends? Ooh. Hmm. I wonder if these are um, the second and third hunter camps. Or I wonder if these are two rogue camps. Maybe.
maybe this is another hunter base. I don't know for sure. Maybe it's a road camp. The one that we can see across the water is under this fog here. I know it's dark, but it makes it so much easier to see these little campfires and stuff pop up. So there's a lot of activity to our southeast. That's going to make things difficult for us. Anyway, there's that. So, a neat thing I learned from watching someone else is that you can place the glow stick and the weapon upgrade slot and kind of stays there and makes a little bit of light for us. I think that's kind of neat. So anyway guys, thank you for hanging out with me today. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. We did get quite a bit of crafting done today. Um, we got the power generator, the mass fabricator, and the workbench all done today. I really hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, you guys have yourselves a great day.